Greetings all, The Devious Monkey here. So after the conference, of course, feeling pent up, I was gonna go for a walk, grabbed my stuff, got ready to go, walked outside, pouring rain. So it waited all day until I was ready to go outside to rain. I decided to come back inside and do the video here. Today, it's a really simple thing that I wanna talk about, and, and that's when things just don't quite work out how you want them to. Uh, Gear-wise, that is. You know how I have like multiples of everything and so on and so forth. And I don't even know, I think it might be a Vanguard. I don't know, it's on the other side. Uh, uh, it's a Vanguard tripod that is what I have the Cinerig set up on. So it's taking a lot of stuff because it's got the Cinerig built out on it with all that stuff attached. Plus it's got all these cables that are wrapped around it to keep them out of the way and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't move though. It stays right where it is. I'm never moving it. I'm never taking it off of there. I'm never unfolding it or making it bigger or anything. It stays right there and it does the job perfectly. I have no problems with it whatsoever. And then I had a, another tripod, which is an older Manfrotto. It was like one of the first tripods I ever bought when I became a, a serious photographer back in Chicago. And I've had a number of different heads for it. So I do have a photography centric head and then I have a, a video fluid head. And that's what I was using for my second camera angle, which I don't have hooked up right now. And then when I started buying all of this stuff for the a7R4, I decided that I needed to have another, like a smaller or a travel size tripod to take with me when I'm going out because I'm already carrying a lot of gear. So I ended up looking through dozens, hundreds of them on Amazon and everything. And I cheaped out and I bought a Neewer. It was like $43 by the time I got the discount and everything because it had a special discount on it. And I got it and it has like a detachable monopod and it had a it had a ball head that was pretty much the exact same one as the overhead one that I ordered to use for the ZV-1 for my overhead shots. And I thought, okay, this is great. This actually isn't that bad. It, it's, I mean, it's sturdy enough. It's fairly light and it, it is compact. It goes down pretty small. I, and I don't want to say you get what you pay for, but you get what you pay for. And it's not that I was expecting a lot from it because I mean, it's an inexpensive knee work. It, in theory, it would do the job, but in my reality, it is completely insufficient. That Sony a7R4 with the grip, with a Sigma lens on it, is just too heavy for it. So trying to, you know, like turn the camera, and, and, and yesterday was sort of like the straw that broke the camel's back when I was trying to take a headshot of myself and I was practicing lighting and all that kind of stuff. And I had to keep moving it back and forth and I had to tilt the camera so that I could get a portrait layout. It just, it wasn't working well. It, the camera was so heavy that I would set it and I would twist the knob to get the ball head to stay in place. And then when I took my hand off and the camera then, the full weight of the camera went, it, it bent down. And no matter how tight I put it, it never got tight enough. It's not made for a heavy camera like that. Now that's my fault because I cheaped out and I bought an inexpensive tripod that probably just isn't good for the weight of the gear that I got and that's fine. So what I did was I went through my magical drawers of junk that I've got tons of stuff in and I found the old photography head that I had that is a uh, Manfrotto as well and I switched the tripods out. So now the newer travel tripod is sitting right there off to the side and that will be used for the second angle, so to speak. So it's not really gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna sit there if I decide to do a second angle in studio. And I took the fluid head off of the, the legs of the Manfrotto and put it on that. And then I just, I took the, the head that came with it off and it's in a drawer, it's in a magical drawer now. And then I put the photography head on the Manfrotto. So you can, you can move the head around and you can also move this around and now I goofed it up from how I had it but whatever and then you can also unloosen this and you can spin it. It isn't as small as the newer. It definitely isn't as light and also the column comes up and comes out and you can do it sideways so that it so you can get a horizontal shot like straight down or whatever. The point being is that that is a serious like professional level tripod for a heavy camera setup. Because when I originally bought this, I bought it for Canon DSLRs. So I was using, you know, like a, a Canon with a grip 
with uh, either a 24 to 70 2.8 or the 70 to 200 2.8 lens, which are all big and all that shit's really heavy and it held it just fine. Now, the one thing that I did have to do is that I had to switch out the plate off the bottom because the Manfrotto stuff has that different plate. So it was either these or Arca type plates. And at the time I had these on everything and I had multiple of, of the quick release heads that were on everything, but those things are heavy. And that's why I decided to start going to this Peak Design standard plate because it's so tiny and it's so light, but yet it was so versatile and it went into everything. So I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I'm only ever gonna be carrying this around with me or I'm going to put it on a tripod. So now that Manfrotto is back to what it was bought for and that's a photography tripod and it's gonna be holding this, which is heavy as shit and that's it. So now that will go with me whenever I need to take a tripod with me. Yes, it sucks because it's, it's a lot heavier. The whole setup is really heavy, but that's because it's built very sturdy so that it can handle heavy cameras like this A7R4 with the Sigma lenses on it. So that's that. That's pretty much, I figured all that out this morning as I was trying to get all this stuff set up. I have found that because I'm going to be taking a lot more selfie style practice pictures, now that I've got the Sony imaging app to work the way I want it to, <laughs> since again, I don't have a model at my disposal other than me. Well, now that I can use the app and I have a sturdy tripod now that I'm not worried about the whole thing breaking and dropping my camera and all that shit, now I'm good to go and I can start doing more selfie type shots to practice all the lighting and the angles and this, that's and the other things. It's why I save everything, you know, because I mean, I haven't touched that photography head. I don't, know, I don't even know if I used it since I moved here. And if I did, I, I didn't use it for very long because it was in a magical drawer. That's why I save all that kind of stuff. I don't need to get rid of it because in my life, I found that a lot of that stuff comes full circle and I end up putting it together and using it a different way. I'm pretty stoked now. I have a very good tripod, tripod legs, tripod head that work with the weight of the gear that I have for this stuff and I'm pretty good to go. So that's all I've got for you today. I just wanted to talk about how I was having tripod issues and all that kind of stuff and how, once again, the magical drawers take me full circle and I'm using gear that I've had for almost 20 years. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.